Hey, what's going on, guys? I am Peter Jennings, and I go by CSU Ram 88 on DraftKings.com. I'm also one of their DraftKings pros. And I wanted to talk today about the difference between season-long fantasy and daily fantasy. And while they're really similar in a lot of ways, you're, you're trying to figure out what guys are going to do the best statistically in whatever sport you're playing. Um, and obviously, there's a, you know, a high correlation between being able to predict who's going to have a good season and then also guys that are going to have good games. But uh, the biggest difference for me is just the, the difference in finding value in players. So in season long, uh, a lot of finding value in players is in the actual draft itself. Uh, are you more bullish on certain guys than others relative to their draft position? You know, can you find those hidden sleepers that are going to really pay off? Uh, can you take guys that might potentially be a backup, but you're projecting an injury for, for one of the starters, and maybe those guys will have season long value? Well, in Daily Fantasy, it's all about who's going to have that value that week. Um, and certainly, there's a lot of different things that you can do to figure out who's going to have value that specific week. And uh, one of my favorite things I, I tell people about initially that are getting into Daily Fantasy that I've played season long in the past, um, when, a, when, an end, when a running back or receiver or someone gets injured, you immediately try to pick up their backup in the waiver wire. Well, in Daily Fantasy, uh, you do kind of the same thing. You look for that backup to provide salary relief because uh, oftentimes those backup players are very cheap in daily fantasy because they haven't had the opportunity to perform, and you can use them for value plays. So I think that's uh, one thing that I, I try to utilize from playing season long fantasy that I find really applicable uh, for daily fantasy as well. Uh, one other thing that uh, is, is completely separate that's only really applicable for daily fantasy that I think is a huge help, especially for those getting started, is utilizing the Vegas lines. Uh, one of the biggest indicators of what's going to happen uh, in games for your individual players is what how many points are projected to be scored. And obviously uh, the Vegas lines are, are you know set for a specific reason and those are very sharp lines. So you can kind of utilize that information to give yourself uh, an edge in daily fantasy. So I always see which guys uh, you know have the biggest player props and which teams have the highest over-unders and target those games for daily fantasy. So hopefully you can use that information to, to start doing well in daily fantasy. And certainly if you've had a lot of success in your season-long leagues, you should be able to apply your knowledge of those players and use it for, for fantasy. And it, it really is fun, uh, you know, especially for those of you out there who are watching this, who have had their season-long teams kind of go down the drain. That's the real joy of Daily Fantasy. There's a new draft every week. So use this information and uh, hope to see you guys take down some big tournaments, potentially a million dollars on DraftKings.com.